Hey guys, it's Adam, and welcome back to another one of my Fortnite videos. Today, we'll be looking at six weapons that are absolutely godly in this game, and you have to use. So the weapons that I'll be going over here in today's video are definitely weapons you want to use if you want to win. Now, they are not absolutely essential for winning. They will definitely increase your odds for winning, especially in certain situations. But if you want to win Fortnite, I highly recommend using the weapons you see here on today's list. Now besides that guys, if you enjoy these Fortnite videos, make sure to drop a like, that would mean the world to me. And besides that, let's go over six weapons that are absolutely godly here in Fortnite Battle Royale. So coming in at the number six spot, we have the Pump Shotgun. And this gun is either a hit or a miss for you. Either you really like it or you really don't like it because this gun it actually requires some skill, some accuracy, some aim, because since it's a pump action, you can't really afford to miss too many shots. If you go up against somebody who's using the tactical shotgun and you miss just one shot or two shots, you are definitely screwed and not going to come out of that situation alive. But if you do hit your shots with the pump action, this thing is godlike. So let's talk about some of these stats for the pump shotgun, all right? So the common does 90 damage and then the uncommon or the green version does 95 damage significantly higher than the tactical shotgun. So if you are someone who can hit your shots and you don't miss a lot then the pump action is definitely for you go for that green that extra five damage goes a long way and again if you get that one shot to the head you will one shot somebody even if they have a full shield and that's what makes the pump action so godly so coming in at the number five spot we'll be talking about the other shotgun which is the tactical shotgun and we'll be focusing on the rare and the epic versions because those versions are absolutely amazing but let me guys know in the comment section below, are you more of a pump action kind of player or are you a tactical shotgun player? For me, I have to go with the tactical shotgun. The pump action is good, but I have really bad accuracy, so the tactical shotgun is the gun for me. And the rare and the epic version, okay? Rare does 70 damage, the epic does 74, which isn't as high as the pump action. Just the common pump action does 90 damage. But the thing is, with the tactical shotgun, your damage per second is much higher because you can get way more shots off compared to the pump action so if you're going up against somebody who has that pump and they miss their first shot you can easily kill them as long as you hit your shots but it's just tricky even with this gun you can one shot somebody in the head but it's just for players who can't hit all their shots they can kind of spam with this a bit and either it pays off or it won't but overall the tactical shotgun especially that epic version really puts in work it's so coming in at the number four spot on my list i have the uh, burst assault rifle and we're specifically talking about the rare version now this is a gun that I kind of didn't want to put on this list because I made a top five about a week or two ago talking about five guns you should never use in Fortnite. And I was talking about how the common and even the uncommon version of the Burst AR really isn't all that good. But the rare version, there's something about the rare version of this gun that is just godly. Now, when I look at the stats for the Burst AR, the common, which is the white version, does 109.7 damage per second. And then the blue version or the rare version does 122 damage per second so it's not a major increase but it's just enough to make this thing really really good because with the common I don't know about you guys, but I will always die with this thing. There's the occasional time I get some kills with it, but most of the time, if I'm going up against uh, someone who has an M16, I am probably going to die because I'm just not good with it. But when I have the rare version of this, all of a sudden I turn into this pro player, and there have been so many times where I have this thing and I just one burst people for days. So many times where I'm running towards a circle and someone shoots me in the back, I turn around, one the burst them. Game over. This thing is really, really good, and I highly recommend giving it a chance. It's not my go-to AR, but if I if I see it, I'll definitely take it and kind of have it as one of my weapons. So coming in at the number three spot, we have the bolt action sniper rifle, and this gun right here is 
absolutely godly. It has three versions, and all three versions are very effective. The rare does 105 damage, the epic does 110, and the legendary does 116 damage. Now, the thing with the sniper rifle in this game is, I don't want to say it takes a ton of skill to use this gun, but it definitely takes at least some skill because this, of course, isn't Call of Duty. You can't just aim down sights and or look in your scope and put your crosshairs on your enemy and shoot and they'll drop. It does not work like that, especially at range. You have to know the bullet drop. You have to actually lead your shots if they're moving. It's very difficult to be very effective with this gun, okay? You can get some lucky shots, of course, everyone does, but to get consistent kills with this, you have to really understand the weapon, and that can be difficult. So if you're somebody who absolutely loves sniping and you want to snipe in this game, definitely stick to that bolt-action sniper rifle. The semi-auto just isn't all that good. There's such a big drop-off in damage. For the legendary, for example, you go from 116 for the legendary bolt-action down to 66. Now, it is semi-auto it does have a higher damage per second but it just really isn't all that good the bolt action is definitely a lot better to use and once you kind of understand the weapon in just a little bit you can be highly effective with this weapon so coming in at the number two spot on my list we have the scar assault rifle and this is definitely the best assault rifle in the game and of course we're talking about both versions the epic and the legendary let's quickly go over some stats and then we'll talk more about why this gun is so good and so incredibly clutch so the epic version does a total of 35 damage and the legendary does 36 now that doesn't sound like a ton but the thing is about this gun is the damage per second is incredibly high okay so the epic does 203 damage per second and the legendary does 214 damage per second to compare that to let's say the rare version of the m16 that only does 192 so if you have the scar and you're going up against somebody else who has an ar which is very likely in fortnite you are going to absolutely destroy them it's just unless they also have a scar and they have much better accuracy there's a high chance you are going to mow down anybody else if you have any version of the scar so since we're talking about godly weapons you obviously want to try to get that legendary scar everyone knows that this is the best gun in the game it has the highest damage per second in the game but the thing is finding this thing is very very difficult getting it from chests is very unlikely the best way to find it is in the drops that's where i always find legendary scars or the best thing to do is just survive long enough and eventually you'll probably kill somebody or sneak up behind somebody and either get a purple or a gold scar. At the end game, everybody has a scar, so you'll definitely find one towards the end of the game if you can manage to kill some people. But even the epic scar is really good. You'll find more of those just spawned around the map and also in chests. But if you really want to win games, try to get that legendary scar because it is absolutely amazing amazing. So obviously the Scar is the best gun in the game, but I don't know if it's the most important weapon in the game. And coming in at the number one spot, we have the RPG. And this gun, I think it's the most important gun for winning in Fortnite. Now, it is worth mentioning the grenade launcher. That gun is also really good. It's not as good as the RPG because you can't really direct your shots. You, you can shoot in a direction, but the bullets bounce over the place and you have no idea where it's actually going to land and explode. But with the RPG, when you take a shot, it will it will not change course. So wherever you shoot it, it will land and it will hit. And it is just so important for destroying bases at end game. I feel like whenever I have an RPG, I'm going to win, especially if you have a legendary RPG. It is 121 damage, but honestly, all versions are good, and the primary use of this gun is just destroying bases. You can get kills with it, but mainly you want to use it to destroy bases at the end of the game. Now, another little trick that I wanted to mention is double RPGs. If you can actually manage to get two RPGs, you become an absolute fort-destroying god, because you can take one shot, switch to another RPG, 
take another shot, and with those two shots, you can absolutely annihilate somebody's fort, and probably kill them if they're actually still in it, and they're only expecting one shot. But, like I said, the Scar is definitely the best in the game for getting kills, but the Rocket Launcher is so important for just winning the game. If you can get that Scar RPG combo, you will be pretty much unstoppable. So there we have it, guys. Those are six guns here in Fortnite that are absolutely godly, super powerful, Powerful, and they will definitely help you win games, but with these guns It just takes time to learn them to understand them and once you do that you will be very very effective Especially with guns like the sniper rifle even like the scars and the RPGs once you really learn them and you understand how to use them effectively You will also become way more effective but besides that guys if you enjoyed the video Make sure to drop a like if you want to see more Fortnite top fives make sure to subscribe or I guess like top six is in this case, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.